Welcome to my class students. It's class 6, English Grammar. We are doing nouns and we have come to know about the nouns, common nouns, proper nouns. I have taught you collective nouns, abstract noun. And now I will teach you how you can form noun from verbs and from adjectives. You know nouns are the naming things and from verbs and from adjectives how you can make the noun. Now that noun can be of any type. It's not important that you will have to make only the abstract noun or the common noun. But the noun you will have to form only noun from verbs and adjectives. So this is class 6 English Grammar chapter 3 nouns formation and this is session 3. Now, formation of nouns from verbs. What is the rule? Words can be formed by change of the primary words as when forming nouns or adjectives or verbs, etc. What is the primary word? The verbs, the primary word, the first word, you will have to change it from this to noun. Such words formed by making some changes to the spelling of a simple word are called primary derivative. So what are the primary derivatives? So only by changing the spellings of the words we can make nouns, we can form nouns from verbs. So for example, this is a bond and this is bind. Here bond is a primary derivative formed by making some internal changes and we make the word bind. See only O and I. There is change only in the spelling. Bond, I have signed a bond. And bind, bind is a verb. Bind, he is bind to, he is bound to bind. Bind, bound, bound. See, always one thing you need to remember. Verb has three forms. Three forms. First, that is the main word, main verb, main verb, second, the past form, past form and the third, the participle. So, we see Verbs have three forms. And what is this noun? How will you how will you find the noun? Nouns are always nouns you use articles when it is a singular. So, so when you when you use articles a and the a or n then you come to know, yeah, this is a noun and that is a verb. So, verb has past form and past participle form and nouns are known by or can be identified by seeing articles. So, here you are seeing, it's very easy to form nouns from verb. You will have to just see, ki with a and the, which form, which word is suitable? With the examples later, I will show it to you and it will become very easy for you to form noun from verb. Now, see, this is advice. He has advised me. See, advice, it has its past form and the participle form. S E D Advise This is verb It is understood Advise I need your advice This is noun See advice It's a noun Only the spelling is changed Here is a S Here is a C And advise So you know vowels We use N So an advice is needed An advice is Needed. So, in this way, you can find the noun form of the word. So, it will be easier to write the noun form by placing articles. If by placing articles, you can find the noun, then it's all correct. 
Now, accept. You know the past form of accept. What is the past form of accept? It's accepted. So, this is accepted. This is the past form. So, this is verb and now acceptance. Acceptance of someone. So, acceptance is a noun form and acceptance. So, and we use the article. Believe. It's past form, you know, believed. And this is belief. My belief. It's not believe. Okay. Only the spelling. This is E V E. This is F. Bleed. Bleed is verb. He bleeds. And blood. Blood bank. Blood. Right. Choose. Choose. Past form. Chose. See. This is believed. Why I am writing the past form of the verb? So, you can easily find the past form of verb. Because the words that will be given will be many. And you need to find which one is verb and which one is noun. So, if you find the past form of verb, so it will be easier to understand that yeah, this word is a verb and the word that I need to write is a noun. And in the noun, you will have always place an article. If you place an article before the word, it will be easily understood whether the word is correct or not. Now, believed and now my belief or belief or belief. See, article is there. Uh, and this is the past form. Bleed. Now, bleed. What is the past form of bleed? Blood. And now, blood. Blood is oozing. Yeah, blood is flowing. So, blood is in sorties. In sorties. There is a shortage of blood shortage of blood so in this way you are seeing here blood is a noun now choose you know what is the past form of choose it's chose chose and here choice my choice Clear, cleared and a clarity, clarity of the picture is very good. Developed, it's passed from a developed and that is development. Die, it's a verb and death is noun. So in this way you are seeing these are all verbs. You can make past and past perfect or past participle form of all these words. And there in nouns you can place articles so that these nouns can be identified. Again, few more examples. Educate, education. Enthuse, enthusiasm. Fly, flight. Free, freedom. Grow, growth. Grief, grief. Hate, hatred. Heal, health. Chop, chip. Drink, draught. Sing, song. He sings a song. A song, we are, uh, we, are, we are placing articles before all the nouns. Wait, watch. Furnish, furniture. Shake, shock. Try, trial. Thief, theft. Now, there are few exceptions also where we don't change anything. It's the same. Approach, approach, care, care, challenge, challenge, damage, damage, force, force, insult, insult, speed, speed. Don't speed up. Then we may write an imperative sentence. Don't speed up. Here, speed we are using as a verb. Then, the speed of a car the speed of a car should be should be controlled. You cannot drive car recklessly. 
should be controlled. So see here the speed as a noun we have used and speed up as a verb we have used. So the word is the same. Force and force. Insult, insult. So these are few exceptions. They are many. A there are many uh, verbs and nouns, the exceptions are there and you will have to read it again and again and pay attention to that because you don't write anything of your own. Now, adjectives. What are the adjectives? Adjectives are qualifying words. It qualifies noun and pronoun. So, how will you find that this word is an adjective? Adjectives always have degree of comparison. If you find so positive, superlative, positive, comparative and superlative degree so you it is easy to understand ki, yeah this word is an adjective see here able, able, more able, most able, active, more active, most active, brave, braver and bravest, certain see here able you have degree of comparison in the adjective degree of comparison. So why I am saying this? These are the identification marks. So when you need to write adjective forms from the noun, you will have to find whether the word has a degree of comparison. Three degrees are there or not. Suppose dense, denser, densest. Free, freer, freest. So, is tarah se you are seeing ki all type of third forms are here, degree of comparison. And here ability, activity, bravery, certainty, density, freedom, you don't have degree of comparison. Here you need to write an article that is A and or the. See, great, you know, greater and greatest. Now, if you get a word like greatness and someone says you to say a adjective form of this, so greatness, you can easily understand adjective great is a word which has degree of comparison, three degrees we have of great. So, great is the correct form. Now, from adjective we are making uh, now, so you see here with the suffixes we are making the Noun form ty. See the suffixes here ery here ty here ty. So with the suffixes also we make nouns from the adjectives. Here also you see ness is here ness is here ty ty. Right. So with suffixes you can make nouns from adjectives. Happy, happier, happiest and the noun form is happiness. High, higher, highest and the noun form is height. The height of the building, a height of the building. So with an article you can understand, oh high is there. So this is a, if this is an adjective, its noun form will be height. So honest, honesty, safe, safety, true, truth. Vacant, vacancy, wise, wisdom. Abandoned, here the spelling is only change. See with the change in the spelling, we have make a new uh, word that is abandoned, abundance, bankrupt, bankruptcy, compulsory, compulsion, calm, calmness, cowardly, cowardice, equal, equality, hard, hardship, hot, heat. Few more, idle, idleness. Here again you are seeing suffixes. Ty, ty, ness. So in this way, by learning this, you are seeing the words which we can make through suffixes. You are doing, you are learning two chapters together. First, formation of nouns from adjectives. And second, how with the use, how with the suffixes you can use or you can make new words. So, idle, idleness, lazy, laziness, local, locality, necessary, necessity, one, oneness, 
स्पेशल स्पेशलिटी टिमिड टिमिडिटी एंड वेकेंट वेकेंसी तो इन दिस वे यू आर सी the many adjectives from which you can make nouns and list are a very big list we have so when you when you go through any piece of article any chapter any story please find the adjectives and try to make try to form its noun form also so if you form noun from adjectives it will become easier for you to be perfect in this art and this you have to learn the the more you learn the more you will be perfect right so in this chapter in this session we have learned how to form nouns from verb and adjective in the next class we will do something more something different by then you just enjoy till then you enjoy have a good practice revise it and then be perfect in this art thank you